Hi there, in this video we're going to look at NetworkX and how to create graphs in NetworkX. We're going to look at how to do this manually in this video. There are other ways of doing this where you can uh, create graphs from other graphs, but I think one of the easiest things to do is just to show what constructs NetworkX offers in order to create these network structures. So let's begin by looking at this Jupyter Notebook or Colab Notebook. So it says here an empty graph that can be created using the nx.graph constructor. And that is what we've got here. We've got a graph G which we are creating using nx.graph. And if we display the length of G, we get zero because there are actually no nodes in that graph. So how do we go about adding nodes to this empty graph? So I've got another cell here. So we're going to look at how to do that. We can add a node to our graph G using the add node function which is offered by NetworkX, and we give the um, the node a label. This can be any hashable Python object. So let's say we give it the label 1, the integer 1. So if we look at the graph now, um, let's use the g.nodes attribute. We can see now we have a node view, which consists of a single node 1. And we can actually draw the graph as well using nx.draw. And that will draw the graph. It won't be a particularly interesting graph. We have a single dot here. It's a single node. It's not a particularly interesting graph, but there it is. So that's our single node graph at the moment. What if we wanted to add multiple nodes in one call? Now, there's another function we can use called add nodes from. And in this case, we can actually pass in a list of nodes. So we've already got one. So let's say two, three, four, and five. We want to add those nodes to the graph. If we now called g.nodes, we should see a node view with five nodes in the graph. And similarly, to draw the graph again, we can draw this graph. There's going to be no connections between them, but we get five nodes and we see that that has worked. So there's two main functions for adding nodes. The add node function and add nodes from, which takes any iterable object in Python. So the next step we want to do is add edges to this graph. Now, a graph without edges is not particularly interesting. So as you can imagine, we might want to do this. There's a function called add edge, and that takes in two parameters, and that's the two nodes that we want to add the, the edge between. So we have this node view here. Let's say we wanted to add an edge between node one and node two. We simply pass the hashable labels and we should now have an edge. So if we go ahead and draw this graph, we should now see that there's a single connection here between those two nodes. And the graph object in Network X has an edges property, which you can look at. That's returning an edge view that gives you all of the edges that exist in a graph. And that basically is an iterable, it's a, it's a list of tuples. Each tuple contains the two nodes that are present on that edge. So that's how you can add an edge. Maybe you want to do the same thing as we did earlier though and add multiple edges. So there's another function called add edges from and what that takes is a list of tuples. So we might want to add an edge from one to three, um, let's say from two to four and from one to four as well. So what we can do is call this function and then if we look at the graphs edges, we now get a list Oh, sorry, we now get an edge view that contains all these new edges. And if we draw this graph, it's slightly more interesting, I suppose. We have now got two connected components. We've got this isolated node over here, and we have this component here with the other four nodes. So next step, I want to show you how to quickly remove an edge. So the graph object has a remove edge function, and that can be used and you basically pass in two nodes here, let's say two and four, we want to remove that edge. And if we call that, we will now have removed that edge. Now here's something to be wary of, if you call it twice, you're going to get an error, a key error, because that edge is not present. You cannot remove an edge that is not present. Network X will throw a key error exception here. So we'll comment that out, and if we draw the graph now, we should see that we have one less edge in this graph than we had before. So that's how you can remove an edge and there's a similar function uh, on the graph object, remove node, and you can actually remove an entire node from the graph. I'm not going to call that here, but that exists if you want to use it. So the final step in this video, just to de demonstrate the basic properties of a graph, is very useful to 
be able to inspect a graph as well. Now we've seen a couple of properties here. Uh, the graph.nodes property gives you back all of the nodes or the vertices that exist in the graph. And we've seen that that returns a node view. And we've got five nodes in this graph that we're building up here. There's also graph.edges and that returns an edge view with all of the edges and you can see that this graph is free edges. Now here's two that we haven't seen, graph.adjacency and that gives you back a view of all of the neighbours that exist in the graph and also graph.degree which gives you all of the node degrees that exist in the graph as well. So let's take a look at the degree first. Now you get a degree view, it's just a dictionary here. Each node in the graph is has got its own key and it's mapped to a particular degree. So if we look at the node 1, it has degree of 3, whereas node 5 has degree of 0. And that makes sense because if we draw the graph out again, we'd know that, that there is a node that has degree of 0, and it's this one here, it's this isolated one. And that will be uh, the node 1 here. This is the, the node that's most important to the graph. It's the highest degree. So you can look at the, the degree of a graph with the graph.degree property. And because this is a dictionary-like object, we can actually sort the degrees. And I'm going to pass in a key as a lambda function here. And it's going to be the values. And we'll reverse that to give the highest first. And you can see that that gives us back the tuple with the actual node. In this case, 1 has degree of 3. And this is in descending order of the degree itself. So we get back a list of all of the tuples that represent the nodes with the tuple with the highest degree being first. And another way to analyze the importance of a node from a degree perspective is a metric called centrality, which we're going to cover in a future video. But this is a very simple way to look at the degrees of all of the nodes in the graph and sort them in the order of highest first. We also have the adjacency view which gives us for each node, again it's a dictionary, we'll map to another dictionary containing all of the neighbours. So for node 1 it has three neighbours, 2, 3 and 4, that's the nodes that it's connected to. Whereas node 5 has an empty um, dictionary here, it's not connected to any neighbours. You can also use the graph.neighbours function and pass in the key of a node. If, I, if we pass in node 1 here, we should then convert that to a list because it returns a generator by default and we get back the three nodes that are neighbours to node 1. So I think that's about it for this video. This is a, a short overview of some of the NetworkX basic functionality for creating graphs and adding edges and nodes. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There will be a blog post as well and a link to a GitHub Jupyter Notebook for this content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.